What would it be like if all the tools and machines I needed for assembly work were combined in one handy package, which I could safely take to the construction site? My name is Frank. Welcome to Festool TV. Tradespeople may be asking themselves this very question or something similar when they put together their assembly package. Especially when you're getting your tools ready for assembly, such as trestles, toolboxes and machine cases. It's not always easy to transport these all individually. I've got the solution in my boxes right here, which I'll show you. We'll get started in a minute. The parts are all unpacked right now. The profiles, plate, wheels, trough and screws are all ready. We have two bolts and two metric screws for the handle. There are also four self-tapping screws which connect the trough to the base profile. I'll start with the profiles, which are fitted with a strap and a retainer. I'll mount them onto this profile. Before inserting the profile, I need to loosen these four Allen screws. Then I'll tighten the screws. We'll do the same on the other side. First, I'll loosen the screws. The profile is inserted into the retainer with the strap and this metal part at the bottom. Then the screws are tightened. I'll put the section down on the cardboard that I've got ready. This means the plate won't get damaged. Now I'll get the base trough. There are outlines of the profiles in the base trough. You can see a little better here. They match the profiles below. The pieces just fit together. There are four holes in the top section. This is where I'll position the self-tapping screws. I'm using a guide extension to work around the foot. I'll insert the four screws. It's quicker and more comfortable to tighten the screws with the ratchet system. The screws are in place. Next up is the axle with the two rollers. We've got to be careful of something here. There are two small washers here. We've got to separate them and push one to the left and one to the right, all the way to the rollers. This means the washers are positioned at the side of the plastic housing. Then it needs a sharp blow to push it in. So, that's fitted now. Let's turn it over. Next we're going to fit the handle. 
The handle is already assembled. There are two small bolts attached which lock into these retainers here. We'll use these sleeves to find the right place later. The sleeves are fitted into the holes. One on the side and one on the other side. We have to push the handle apart slightly. I'll let the sleeve lock in place in the lower hole. You can hear it clearly. The handle is now positioned on both sides. The handle automatically locks when pushed upwards. I still need the two metric screws. One screw goes in here and the second goes on the other side. I'll tighten the screws. Now the pre-assembly for my mobile workshop is finished. We still need the pull-out sustainer drawer. It is still in the box. I'll show you how to assemble it in the next step. The mobile workshop is screwed together. Now let's look at the pull-out sustainer drawer. I've taken the part out of the box. Here's the pull-out drawer. On the left and right we have two retainers. We'll need these later to position the pull-out drawer in our profile. The cross piece will keep the mobile workshop stable at the bottom. I have already positioned these MFT clamps. I'm using them to position the retainers for the pull-out drawer. This makes it easier and more comfortable to screw the small pieces together. The pull-out drawers are already prepared. Firstly, I need to loosen the rails on the side. There's a little clip here. I need to pull it upwards. Now I can remove the whole rail and place it on the retainer. We'll do all of that exactly the same on the other side. We're moving the whole rail backwards. I'm pulling the clip upwards. I'll show it so the camera has a better view. Now I can remove the whole rail. Both rails are now separate from each other. I can now position them on the retainer. I'm looking for the correct punched holes in the grid area. It's built in such a way that I have two holes. When I move it, it's easy to find the position of the screw holes. Now I'll get the 25mm Torx from my Centrotech system, as well as the relevant screws. Now I can place my first screw and tighten it. I'll do the same for all four screw holes. After the screws are tightened, I'll check that the rails run properly. If so, everything is how it should be. Next, I'm going to fit this small additional part. I need it for the pull-out drawers locking system. The piece fits into position here. It just clicks into place and is fixed with a screw. Now we get to the diagonal pieces. They have two little cutouts in the center. 
I'll use them to cross the rods. I've got to ensure that these two fixing points face outwards. I have to rotate mine. The fixings are placed in the recesses on the retainer. First, I'll position the diagonal pieces. I'll insert the screw into the screw hole. And now tighten it. Now I'm tightening the four screws. The pull-out drawer is finished. Now we can attach the pull-out drawer to the mobile workshop. Firstly, I'll release these two green clamp levers on both sides. These clamps fit into the profile at the back. I'll position them on the left and right. Now I'll click them into place. I've already set the appropriate height. I can set it to different heights depending on the sustainer size. When I found the right height, I can lock it into place. If it's too loose, I can change the locking using this adjusting screw. It should be easy to move, up to 45 degrees. Then there should be a point where it is more difficult to move in order to lock it into place. Both sides should have the same amount of resistance. The pull-out drawer is fitted. Now let's look at the drawer itself. Both sides of the drawer are inserted. It's just a normal pull-out drawer, which you're probably familiar with already. It's locked in place. I've checked it. Now we have an optimal pull-out drawer for our sustainer. The mobile workshop is now assembled. We're just missing the additional table. I've got it back here. I'm going to hang the additional table at the back. To do this, we first have to move the handle down. The additional table has an adapter fixture. This fits into the lower section in the base trough meaning the table is held securely and is trapped in place. I can lock the MFT table in place with this belt system. This means the table is held in place and connected to the base unit. I'll show you how the mobile workshop is used with sustainers and how it can be used on the construction site in a later video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Frank. Thanks for watching. See you next time.